Did you know shame is one of the most significant reasons men and women seek pornography? Shame's the voice that will convince us of the lie that we don't belong and could never be accepted. The lie of being unlovable can leave us feeling anxious, fearful, and lonely. When we believe we're unlovable, we'll find it nearly impossible to have intimacy with another person. In a sexualized culture, we might think intimacy is only synonymous with sexual expression. Yet intimacy is, at the core, the experience of being seen and being known by another person. As some have suggested, intimacy can be thought of as into me see. To let someone see the real you does require we risk vulnerability. So what if we risk being vulnerable and end up being rejected? Did you know that social rejection can activate the same part of the brain that's activated when we experience physical pain? As you can see, pornography can be alluring. Why? The person on the screen is not going to reject us. In this sense, it may feel like less of a risk and might temporarily alleviate the painful emotions we desperately want to avoid. When talking about himself to his disciples in Luke 9, 22, Jesus said he would suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised on the third day. Think about that. The very Jesus who created you and knit you together in your mother's womb is the same Jesus who was rejected by those he created. Jesus risked vulnerability in coming to earth and in the end he felt the pain of rejection. Is there good news? Yes. Jesus risked being rejected because he desires you and longs for you to experience what it is to be fully known by him. Being known by Jesus requires a posture of rest, knowing you are accepted and you do belong.